Good Lord, look at that big old beast right here. Watch this, I'm supposed to sight fish that bow fin right there. There is right here, watch this. I'm supposed to put him on the hook. Boop. And he went for it. Let's give him just a second. Look like he went for it. Here we go, here we go. I got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got him on that one. Oh, he's a big one. Come on up here, big dog. Come on up here, big one. Yes, sir, that is a super duper nice bow fin. That's what we after back here. Come on, dude. Let me flop you up here onto the bank. All right, you chill out right here with me. Woo hoo hoo, good Lord. He is all over everything, ain't you? Keep on going, big dog. You gonna, you gonna get it? You gonna get it? I'm supposed to get you off in just a second. You gotta get up here on the bank with me, though. You gotta get up here so I can get you off first. Let's see, all right. I got you by the line now. Let's get the let's get my fish grippers out of my pack here without dislocating my shoulder. I saw you over there. You was advertising it, wasn't you? Look at that big old mouth just right to get the old fish grippers right there in. Yeah. Now, let's get the hook out. That's another thing about these bow fin, man. Their bite is so strong. I try not to get my hands anywhere near his mouth. Let me get the pliers out because... Get my pliers, get my pliers. I should have already had them out when I saw that bow fin. Try not to get my fingers near his mouth because this dude, as you can see right here, has a mouth full of daggum razor sharp teeth right up there. And he has an enormous amount of bite strength too. Like, oh my goodness, size bite strength. But look, what a big old pretty hunk of fish. I'd say he's probably about, about three pounds, two and a half, three pounds, both in. These things are heavy and stocky anyway. Anyway, thank you so much for coming up, my man. Put on the lanyard so I don't lose my grippers here. And you, my brother, have a great swim. Ooh, he is not happy whatsoever. Man, he is not happy. All right. And that, my friends, is fish number one back here at this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creek spot. It is so nice back here. And the fish are going to be biting today. Let's go get us a nudding. And welcome back y'all again to another exciting adventure on Melissa's Outside again. Man, we're back here at the creek today. Um, I forgot to do the intro to start with, so I've already caught that one fish and now we're doing the intro. But this today is back at the creek back here. Y'all know the creek, love it. See what all we can catch back here. We got about, about an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half to fish back here and do some good fishing. So there's another one jumping right over there. So we fist to come back here and put it on them. We done put it on one big old juicy bow fan back here. He didn't tear my rig up too bad, so we can get him right back out. And I come out here a couple of days ago and did not bring the camera. You know I come out here just goofing off and didn't bring the camera. But I caught some huge, absolutely huge pickerel like this dude I'm gonna put in right here. Good night, y'all. Look what a monster pickerel I caught. Come on, show me that pretty smile, big guy. Good night, what a pickerel. Man, look at this thing. He completely destroyed the skirt on that spinnerbait. Look at him. Oh my God, can we even get him in the picture? Man, I've got to have a weight on this thing. Just, just to see. Here we go. We have got two pounds, one ounces. That is a two pound pickerel and man, he feels a lot heavier, but good Lord, that dude is, he is absolutely massive. Man, let's get him back to the water, you violet thing. Hold up, let me get my scales out your mouth. You can't take them with you, sorry. They are not your constellation prize. Get them to turn off. All right, later, homie. Woo, he did the backflip king. Man, that guy was a stud, over two pound pickerel, and as long as he was, man, 
I think he might have been pretty close to my PB. I'm not exactly sure, but he was close. He had a mouth like a dragon on him, as you can see in the video. Anyway, let's get back here and get back some great fishing, and we're gonna put some awesome fish on the line for you guys. Today, the rigs we're working with is, I have got a crawfish rigged up Texas style, and on this pole right here, I got the old favorite, popping frog. You know, you know, we love us some frogs back here, especially on top water with these jokers hitting it. Love seeing a good top water bite. If y'all would, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Stick around, see all the great fishing that we got coming up here. Great fishing, great hunting, falls coming in soon. Man, we're gonna be adventuring it out like nobody's business. So let's get back to all this wonderful fishing. See y'all in a second. Something was just over here terrorizing this little nook. I don't know what, but it looked like it might be old bass just by the shape of it. I could be completely wrong. Something just hit my crawfish just then. Old Bremis. You see him snap it? Hopefully y'all got that. Old Brim snapping at these crawfish. They love this stuff. Man, that guy, they were just everywhere. They are hopping everywhere out here. Oh my goodness. Get off from there. All right, you come over here. Man, they're just hopping everywhere. In, out, up and down, you name it, they're here. Let's get you back over there. I would just run you straight down there. So many good places to fish. It's like my ADD is going crazy. Like for real. Get y'all on down there. All these old sticks and cover up in here. Man, they are all up in it. Uh oh, here we go. He spit it. He had it for like a second and then he spit it. Whatever it was, it felt pretty stout. I think I'm hung on a stick this time. Yep, that's old stick. Old stick fish. The quick release on the stick fish here. side of that log right there. There's a good chance there might be one there. Uh oh, there we go. We on again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, big guy. What we got here? Oh, that looks like an old bass. That's my buddy the bass. We got some good size. Now it's another big old bow fin. Oh no, don't get me wrapped up in this crap. No, 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 no. You don't want to get up in all that mess. Come on, there we go. Water ski me over here. Water ski me over here. Water ski me over here, Hoss. I gotta get you out of there so you don't break my line. Oh, man. Very many more. Y'all, I'm gonna have to retie. They have braided the line on these things so bad. Let's get him up here on the... Oh, you bigger. You a big, big dog. Man. Let's get you on the grippers here. I can get that old nasty thing out your mouth. Ah, come on now. Open wide for me. Simon says, give me some room. Simon says, open your mouth. MOA says, get them lips, there we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, you hit it like you was in it to win it. I mean, I mean. Good Lord of mighty news, look at that thing. Look how big he is, good night. Perfect hook set to right there in the corner of the mouth, right in all them big old teethuses right there. Now, I don't normally put my hand near your mouth, but you know, today ain't going to be the day I break that rule either. I'd like to keep all my fingers for an upcoming trip we got. This is like the both end. Yeah, I wouldn't have pulled you out when I get my fingers off in there anyway. Like the both end hole right here, son. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Look what a big old, absolutely beautiful both end. I'm hoping I'm getting him all in frame. Good Lord. He is something to behold. Man, what a bow fin. All right, let's get him on back. Thank you, sir, for making an appearance today on Mullis's Outside again. And you go back and enjoy your bow fin like. Watch me fall in trying to get him back into the, get him back into the water. Come on, heels, dig in. We gotta get this dude back into the water. 
There you go. He is out of here. This way, mud man. I know y'all live in the mud just fine. There you go. He's gone. There he goes. Thank you, sir. When I first saw that dude, I thought he was a bass. When I saw that big old wide body go sideways, I was like, I done hooked up on me a bass. But either way, I will still love a bow fin because them jokers fight so good, pull so good. They ask him for me to do a catch, clean, and cook on what they want to do. But that is bow fin number two. And let's get back to some more great fishing. Just right over next to that log. Ooh, that was a good toss right there. Let's see if we can get him on line. Ooh, got him. <laughs> I had a feeling there'd be one sitting over there. He spit it before I could set it though. I flip him all around this edge over here. Oh, there we go. Something hit him. Did he spit him? I felt like one of the little brim took him and hauled butt with him. Uh oh, there we go. <clears throat> and that was a pickerel because he just cut me off. Dad, blame it. Arr! Man, he cut me off like nobody's business. All right. Take a pause for the calls. We got to retire. All right, and we are back online, pun intended. I put a little piece of uh, 30 pound leader on here so they won't cut me off so dab blame bad, the pickerel. And since they like crawfish today, I'm sticking with this blue and black. Crawl poppy is what it's called. Um, they're made by Yum. That seemed to work pretty good back here at the creek. So uh, let's see if we can put it on one back here real quick before we move to another spot. And me not fall in the water here because it's a lot deeper than what it looks like. What I'm doing, I'm just hopping him across the bottom. Just blip, 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 blip. Oh, already. Something hit it already. As soon as he fell, it felt like a little brim just tapped into him. Uh oh, it will go again. Where's he at? Is he still on? He's still on. He's just coming to me. What are they? <coughs> got him at time. What we got? 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 We got a pick. I figured that was a pick out there doing all that raising sand and rambling. Look at that dude right there. We got the pick, bro. We got the pick, bro. Got the pick, tick, 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 tick. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. All right, dude. If you'll quit with all your acrobatics, we'll get you up here and get you introduced to the audience. Today, all my friends and buddies and people we love out there in the YouTube. I ain't put my fingers near your mouth neither. You got a mouth full of big old teeth as. He hit that and weird, man. He hit that and, and I wasn't sure whether I had him or not because he hit it and he come in and he kept coming. Every time I pull up, it beep, beep, and then it felt like he dropped it, but it wasn't. It was him swimming into me is what it was. Look what a beautiful fish. He ain't the biggest pig, but man, he is pretty. Look at them pretty colors. And look at that big old wolf mouth on that thing with all them teeth. Look what an absolutely beautiful fish. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get this beautiful dude back. And let's go put some more on the line for y'all. Am I hung? Uh, my rig's so good it even, even caught myself on it. My rig is so hot, I even caught myself. Later, brother. Whoop. Oh, see you in the sludge then. I was going to try to throw you out further, but you clamped down on me, hoss. All right. I told you, man, they love some crawfish back here. This is a real natural bait. You'll see all the crawfish holes back here just everywhere. So any type of crawdad, crawfish, anything, they seem to really, really be attracted to it. And he hit that mamma jamma like it was going out of style. Now let's get this crawfish back up on him, like so. Get him around there and not tear him up, we'll be all right, that's the problem getting him back and not tearing him up so we can use him again here we go perfect 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 all right let's see if there's another one waiting out there first i thought the way he hit that one that he was like a bass or something he hit that one pretty good and hard so let's flip him flip around these old edge of these logs over here this looks like a good place for old big daddy pickerel or bass to be getting i seen that bait fish just jump 
give you all the readjustment here. All right, let's get him over here on the edge again. Let's get him right over here where this dude right here hit him a while ago. I think that was a big old brim that hit him right there, to be honest with you. It looked like one of them dudes just grabbed him by the claw and took off because, man, there we go, already again. Something hit him again. Up. Oh. <laughs> I hope I got that on film. These dudes are too funny, man. They are way too funny. Like, he got some air. Like, that was... I, I got to give a commentary on that one. We have got to get the instant replay slow-mo air on what that dude got. As soon as he hit it, he was like, Oh, no! <laughs> Let me not bust my tail. I'm standing here on this log. But let's put a slow-mo air, air version of that one up. I absolutely love them things. They are so fun. All right. The reason why a lot of people say they don't like them, dude, they're my buddies. Pickle are my buddies. Love them. Let's see if we can get us another one on out there. We have found the pickle hole. Way on back in the trash pile. I'd be surprised if I pulled up on this one. There was one on that joker. That's one good looking trash pile right there, my friend. These fish love a rubbish pile. Oh, there he goes. He got it. He got it. Did he get it? Man, he sure swiped at it. That was a big one, too, man. Good Lord, that was a big one. We got to go back over there again. That thing was huge. Jai Normica. And there he is right there. He's sitting there waiting for it. Look at him. There he is. Put it right in front of his face. Did he go after it? Looks like he went after it. There he is. What we call sight fishing at its finest. There he goes. Sight fishing at its finest. Oh, got him. I figured it. Oh, and he let it go. Oh, no. Did the hook not? The hook didn't set. Yeah, we got to redo that one. He was huge. I saw that joker. He was a he was a very 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 nice one. Let's get the crawdaddy leggy out of there. Get him all back weedless again. That way he sets good. Put him on a hair trigger. I'm putting him on a hair trigger this time because I don't know if that dude got him or not. But what it looked like was a, either a big old bowfin or a big old huge pickerel. So I would say if it comes in front of his face again, he's going to hit it again probably going to nail it as soon as it comes up in his face again and he is guarding that trash pile with his life there he is oh and i think he broke oh man oh he broke me off right at the knot right he he bent see where that limb is right there he like bent me under that limb when he went down and broke my knot off what oh well i put on 30 pound test to try to avoid that whole scenario and it's like he just broke me off at the knot and it wasn't even frayed let's see let's get some yeah he broke me right off at the knot well all right thank you all so much for coming out i noticed when i started editing down the footage this is a few days after i made the video that i did not make an outro so i'm just going to do the outro out here in the backyard thank you all so much for coming out on such a wonderful adventure on melissa's outside again i love catching all them big bow fins and i love catching all them big pickerel love seeing them flopping and flipping all around everywhere them jokers are my buddies they are a trip thank you all so much for coming out if you would please like and subscribe down below and we'll see you again on the next adventure mull us out